Hey, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the live stream tonight. Thank you for being here with us. Uh, it was a little private joke between Patrick and I. What was going on before the live stream? So uh, we had to postpone. I just wanted to uh, briefly say why we postponed. We completely forgot, the both of us completely forgot that we had uh, a sponsored dinner last night where they invited all of the YouTube makers. And uh, so we had to reschedule for tonight. And uh, tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to show you some of the interviews, the unedited raw video interviews that we did. So there will be some sound difficulties and some may be louder and some may be lower than others because we haven't done any post processing on these videos yet. We've been so busy. But uh, in about seven to 10 days, both of us are going to come out with our own separate videos with a much higher quality 4K um, video for you all to see. But for tonight, we're just going to give you a sampling and uh, we're going to do how many tonight? We are going to cover nine different laser makers. Now, one thing we want to preface this whole video series uh, by saying is these are commercial grade lasers. Most of them are, are made for people that are wanting to expand their shops or have a full-scale production facility. They range in price from maybe around $5,000, $5,500 all the way up to $500,000, mm -hmm. depending on what you're looking for. So if you're thinking about expanding in the future, these will be great for you to watch. Even if you're not thinking about expanding, uh, it's still good to watch and learn about some of these lasers that might have some features that you're looking for in your next hobby laser that you could take that to the manufacturers and say, how about you try to integrate this or something? But right, exactly. And uh, one of the manufacturers that we saw tonight actually has come out with a whole new series of lasers that is sort of based on um, customer feedback. Yeah. So, you know, you always want to give feedback to the company that you bought your laser from. But like Patrick said, this is going to be purely uh, the interviews that we did with the commercial laser industry. And um, out of that, there's probably only about two that are really hobby lasers. But, um, you know, if you're planning on starting a business and you're just getting started with a hobby laser, uh, with a diode laser, with a fiber laser, whatever the case may be, I think that you all are going to find these interviews pretty interesting. And like I said, I'm going to be having an entire playlist coming out with more video, more and better quality video. That's yeah. going to be a final cut uh, along with um, separate videos for each company, uh, probably over the course of about a month or so. Yeah. We have footage from the main interview of the person talking and then also hovering around the machines and showing them off while they're talking about the machine. So hopefully we'll have some good edits put together. And, and man, there's, there is a lot of, of a lot of white noise right now. So again, we're, we're using the raw video here. You might have to adjust your volume up and down as we go, but we're going to get started today. And we're going to start off today with Eon Laser, right? Yep. So Eon uh, number one. Eon is the first company that we visited, and we're going to go ahead and uh, put that video up for you right now. Okay, so we are here over at Eon Lasers, the Eon booth, and I am with... Danny Martinez, who is the president of the company. So um, he's going to give us a brief overview of who Eon is, as well as some of the new developments for 2024 that nobody has even heard of yet. So you're going to be the first to hear it live right now. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Uh, that's quite a tall order. Um, <laughs> All right, so well, all right, who is Eon? I guess we'll start with the company. Um, a little backstory, I, I, I founded the company uh, 16 years ago. It was uh, a small business uh, out of a duplex, um, and really it was just, uh, you know, drop shipping. You know, we were, we were uh, selling rotary style engravers, um, little desktop roll-ins, I was a roll-in distributor. And, um, you know, it was nice, I worked from home, uh, pretty much, you know, uh, those days very, are over. Those days are over. I still work from home, but those were peaceful work from home days. <laughs> but uh, you know, I, I I built a business, you know, from from the ground up, um, and it was always relatively small. 
Uh, but at, you know, at one point, uh, I wanted to get into lasers. A lot of people were asking for them. Um, and, and, and new people were starting to come out you know, with, with more affordable lasers, so the market kind of opened up. And, and about uh, 2019 is when um, I came across Eon after exhausting almost every other avenue. I think I approached every single laser company in the industry um, and got shot down by, by pretty much all of them. Uh, the partnership with Eon uh, you know, just blossomed from there, and they just have a fantastic machine. And uh, you know, we spent a lot of time working with them. Um, and getting just feedback from other businesses to create the technology we have today. But uh, essentially we focus on uh, the budding entrepreneur, that person who's crafty, who's doing it at home as a hobby or just for fun, and you know, all of a sudden they're doing something for a friend or a family member, and people start inquiring, hey, how much for one of these, how much for one of those, you know? And they get the idea of like, you know, this could, this could be a business. Uh, and that is our primary focus. We take someone from that stage um, where they're crafting um, and, and, and take them to that next level where they can like start. Like Emily, for example. Like Emily, for example. Emily was a good one, yeah. I, I sold Emily her first laser. Um, I was the salesman at the time. So, you know, we had that whole conversation. You know, and we that were, was the Mira 7? It was the Mira 7, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I that, remember her setting up the stand for it, doing the video. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember when that mom with a laser was born. Yes. You know, it was a, it was an interesting conversation, but uh, it, that's exactly it. You know, it's uh, a lot of people uh, uh, had to rely on this. Actually, uh, around COVID in 2020, that's when we had a really big boom because uh, some people had to reinvent themselves. You know, that their income was displaced. You know, they, they found themselves without occupations. Some households lost both occupations, and they'd come to us with their last ten thousand dollars in savings and. Uh, you know, and say, can I actually do this? Uh, and the answer is yes, yes you can. You know, especially with the internet at your fingertips now, you're able to market, you know, create your own channels, uh, create your own following. Um, you know, I, I wish these tools were available to me when I was a younger entrepreneur, because yeah. it, was, it was much harder then to get people to listen to you. Yes, yes. <laughs> Even if you had the world's greatest ideas or products, you know, getting your voice out there, or getting in front of a lot of people was, was just a lot of legwork. Um, and you can do it all from home, and I'm a big fan of that. I, uh, I work from home still. Um, I'm a stay-at-home dad. I've got two wonderful children and a wonderful wife, and you know we've we've grown the company with you know implementing skilled people, people I've known for a long time, people that I you know have come to trust. Contrary to the advice you, people give you, I, I believe firmly in you know friends and family. My sister is part of the company. Uh, we have uh, two or three married couples that work together in the company. Uh, we got some brothers and sisters in the company aside from my own. So it's like, you know, we we tend to you know find people we like and and then we sort out you know that type of DNA. So we we recruit the rest of their family members <laughs> to come work for us. But it's really a tight knit company. Uh, it's um it's quite a bit of uh, uh you know it's it's grown to become a family essentially. Uh, and that's, that's more or less, you know, our foundation and what we do. Now, we also happen to be very, very, uh, the word that I heard this weekend was we're, we're laser lunatics, uh, which I, we laughed at because it was very fitting. Uh, we, we're really big into the technology. So can you uh, let us in on some of the secrets that you're letting some people in on? Yeah. Show? Well, uh, there's a lot. <laughs> Uh, there's a whole new series. There's a whole lasers. new series. That's right. It's uh, we've come out with the Red Line series, uh, which is the next uh, step up from our current models, and we really just addressed all the pain points, the stuff we see a lot of customers struggling with, maintenance, the alignment, the cycle times. You know everything that I could think of that would make a laser difficult to rely on as a as a full time business. We addressed it. So these new Red Lines. Um, they're very easy to align. Uh, we've made all the maintenance toolless, so you can change lenses and mirrors uh, without grabbing a single tool. Um, we've protected everything, so everything's enclosed. Every the laser head sealed, so you know the amount of maintenance is reduced drastically. You know, usually with the, with a laser, you're you know cleaning optics, cleaning mirrors. Like this stuff almost goes away once you start segregating them from the cabinet. 
Um, and that's one of the big design changes you'll see is everything is just separated from the actual cabinet where the work is being done. So all that smoke and all that soot isn't getting on your mechanical parts, on your optics, on all the things that you, know, you, you have to maintain to keep the machine going. They're, they're a whole lot faster now. Uh, so you know, we've started implementing RF tubes in all our models um, and servo motors, which are extremely responsive. They have a really high acceleration rate. Uh, that's a big focus for us because uh, the cycle times dictate how much, how profitable you are in this business. Um, and, and you know, we've seen people come from hobby machines, and you know, instantly, you know, they're making ten times the money. Not because they're charging more, but because they're doing it at a tenth of the speed, I, I, ten times faster, or a tenth of what it used to take them to complete that that job. Um, so that's that's part of the the full circle of innovation here. Um, uh, and then we also, you know, have, we're casting a wider net. You know, we're, we're, we're going to the next level. We've seen our customers succeed and they end up with a second or a third or fourth laser. Um, and, you know, for us, that's an indication that we still have some room there to go faster and, and more powerful. Okay, well, uh, I want to say thank you so much to Danny from Eon Laser for giving us a brief overview. We're going to talk a whole lot more in a separate video just about Eon, where we're going to talk about all of these innovations in the Redline series and everything new that's coming this summer from Eon Laser. So you're not going to want to miss that one. So now we're going to take a, a moment and show you the big announcement from Eon. And uh, they actually did a, a presentation where um, you're going to learn all about the new Redline series as yep. well as the signature series. Signature series. So yes. we'll continue on with this uh, with this big announcement now. All mic'd up now. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Woo! Yeah. Awesome. Thank you for coming out. Um, today we're really proud to uh, showcase our brand new laser. Um, first time seeing this in the public here is our Redline series. Uh, our Redline series is really special to us. This is years and years, uh, nearly a decade of innovations have gone into this. And what you're seeing today is, is uh, dozens of people um, working to make what we think is the best user experience and the best laser on the market. Um, we named it Redline, so it's, it's, it's an interesting uh, uh, term to choose. We chose Redline, it's much like your car, the manufacturer considers that the safe limit to how fast you can, uh, or how, how, how high you can rev your engine. So essentially this is as fast as you can push something and do so reliably and safely for a long time. Um, so Redline was a really fitting uh, a name for that. Um, in the years of developing lasers here, we've, we've gone through lots of revisions, lots of R&D, and so we're at a point now where we're really proud to say that our lasers have full AC servos across the line. This is a big push for us, this allows uh, uh, much higher speeds, much higher precision. Um, I never introduced you, Alicia. <laughs> That's okay, I'll introduce myself. That's okay. I'm so sorry. My name is Lech Kamaj, <laughs> Vice President of Neon Laser USA. Uh, with me is the wonderful Alicia Spector. She's our uh, fantastic sales manager. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Um, <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank I'm you. so sorry. Uh, Zach of the machines. Um, with, with AC servos, we're, we get a very high precision and very high speeds. Um, with that also comes high acceleration. So we have a very high cycle time. Whenever we talk about speed, we want to also speak about cycle time. How fast you can put a cup or a coaster inside of your machine and get it back out is really important to us. If you can save time there, you can spend time doing something else with your family um, or doing more work. All of our machines now come with uh, full linear rails, um, and uh, this is really important for the robustness and also for the rigidity of the machine as well. You'll see that um, very high precision machinery always comes a linear rail, and um, you'll see the same thing for all of, all of our lines. Um, with the Redline Series 2, we've completely gone back to the drawing board for what a laser head can be. So instead of an autofocus pin or any kind of module that would sense autofocus, now our laser head itself does the autofocusing. Um, we spend a lot of time making the laser head a lot lighter as well. So anything we can do to lower the mass of the laser head accelerating uh, 
uh, is going to increase not only the lifespan of your laser, your ability to increase those speeds, um, and, 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 also, and again, help, help, help with the rigidity. Uh, to touch on the robustness, so as a laser's moving back and forth, it, it's, um, it's really important that the platform you're standing on is really rigid. And so this year's Mira, the Redline series, is the most rigid laser um, we've ever made. And so there's more metal in, in the current or in the new Redline series than, than any other uh, Eon laser or uh, any other laser that I've, I've actually ever seen. Um, our Nova series is exceptional with this as well. We use a single door on the side of the mirror now, so accessibility is really nice. If there's any kind of maintenance to ever happen, we remove a single door and everything inside is accessible to you. The uh, same is true for the Novas. Um, and it allows a much stronger frame design, which again goes back to our, our speed and, and, our, uh, and our design. It's my turn. Hi, everybody. This mic is really loud. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about it. These are things that we here at Eon Laser are always really, really excited about. Our super clean pack design and our compact design. What does this mean? This means that all of our important parts are inside of the laser, so it saves you space, and we know that space is money in your shops. So, the industrial chiller, the air assist, and the exhaust systems are all built into the cabinets of the lasers. This is not a new thing for Eon Laser, but we've upped it again, upped it a little bit more. So the Mira series now have a quiet inline fan inside of it instead of the louder fan that was in there before. That allows for better maintenance and really a quieter workspace, which is what we all need. The Nova series, we have also kicked it up a notch and we have included inside the cabinet its own you want to say it, Lek? Its own air compressor. Its own air compressor. I know this sounds crazy, but it's not. Because now you have the absolute best cutting ability that you can get out of that Nova laser. Something else that we really always like to talk about is the clean pack design on the inside of the laser. We have upped it again for the mirror lasers as well. We all have, we have the accordion doors on the side. So every time you're cutting or engraving, all of those particles are staying inside of your workspace instead of going inside of your machine. So what that means is less maintenance and really uh, a better ability to suck that fume and those particles out. So that's a really good thing. Going along with the all-in-one design is our comprehensive design. So now every single Eon laser has a camera built into the, the lid of the laser, including the Mira 5, which is new for us. Uh, this gives you a better precision on lining things up and also uh, just being able to see your workspace a little bit better. Uh, we also updated the laser head that Lech was talking about earlier. So now all of the mirror lasers also have the newly designed laser head, which means the autofocus is built into the laser head. So no more collisions with the laser pin. Everything is built in and the air assist comes out of that laser head too, which is really nice. Also, to ensure that your laser is always in center and always level, we always, now we also include a bullseye level on every laser so that you can make sure that you're nice and level when you're engraving or cutting. Another great design for the all-in-one all in design is our new LED lighting system. So we always have the LEDs on the side. We now have them built into the top of the lid. So when you open the lid, it actually illuminates the workspace as well. Uh, making it really nice. The next thing is we now have the Eon laser, which looks really nice all lit up, but it also serves function. So when you're on standby, it's white. When it's running, it's green. If you have an error, it's gonna turn red so that you know you have to go back to the laser to uh, push that button and make it go again. Uh, and now with the new Red Lion series, uh, this is the most exciting part, is all toolless. So all of the uh, parts, mirrors, and lenses that you need to change is all a toolless process. Uh, this is super exciting. The lens is now held in with a magnet, so you just take it out, held on with silicone rings, you pop the lens out, put a new one in, silicone ring, and pop it back in. Super easy to change. The mirrors are the same way. You take them out to clean them, and you can put them right back in. What's really nice about this toolless is that everything is in its fixed position, which means 
we are not aligning mirrors very much anymore, which is a fantastic thing. The laser docking hub is a new thing as well. So what this does is it allows you to change a laser tube or maybe a laser source uh, what, so that you can take a laser tube out, put a new one in. It has a fixed beam path. So again, if you're changing a tube, you're not aligning the mirrors or the beam path anymore. Something fantastic. A new keypad. What's going to go now? Um, so uh, intuitive. We have a brand new controller now, and a brand new touchscreen as well, a, a, a brand new screen as well. Um, we've got a lot of feedback. So we've got years and years of experience here from laser users, our laser technicians, um, and also our, our, our employees of what a keypad should be and how a keypad should function. And so we've taken all of that into consideration and in redesigning a brand new keypad, a brand new controller as well. And what you see here is exactly that. It's, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's actually all of the useful functions you could want on a laser all on one uh, platform. It's, it's really great. Um, a, new, a, new first, uh, a, a new industry first is our proactive design. So whenever you have mirrors on, on a laser or optics, they get warm. So there's always a laser passing through them. The question for us is always, how do you maintain the laser? When do I clean this lens? When do I clean the mirror? Um, instead of just checking it, we now have sensors on all of those components. So your lens has a, a thermal sensor on there. Your, your mirrors have sensors on there as well. Your water chiller has a sensor on there. Your laser tube has a sensor on there. So if there's ever a problem, there's an immediate um, uh, response from the controller. It tells you what the problem is. If you have a chipped or damaged mirror or if it's dirty at all, we have a sensor that's gonna tell you that you need to clean or change that mirror. So it's really a proactive approach to two to lasers instead of just a regular maintenance approach. It's gonna save you a lot of time, a lot of headache, and um, you can just get back to just operating your laser, which is really the key here. Um, safeguarded, so in, 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 that, in that thermal design too, we also have um, protection that takes place. So um, one of those protection barriers is going to be our, our, our side channels. And so whenever you engrave something, you get soot and debris that comes up. We don't want those near those mirrors. And so we want those mirrors to last as long as possible without cleaning them. And so we have this nice clean pack that um, completely encompasses everything. Our laser head also has a window on there as well. So cleaning mirror three, uh, cleaning your lens, these things go to you know, basically relying on the sensor. Um, those are those are really uh, uh, actions of uh, of yesterday. This is really exciting as well. This is a, another industry first for us. Uh, the versatility that we have in laser tube selection. So everyone here is really familiar with a regular laser tube, typically glass tube. They operate really well under certain circumstances. They cut really well. Um, we've got the ability to change to a RF tube or a glass tube on a laser. Um, but then we also have the ability to drop in a fiber source as well. So we could have uh, you know, a, a RF tube and also a fiber source. Um, and for us, that's, 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 that's the first. Um, our ability to drop in a laser tube as well with our, with our, with our docking design is, is uh, an industry first. If you guys get a chance, please stop by our booth. We'd love to demonstrate it to you. We can simply unclick the tube, pick it up, put it back in, and the tube is perfectly aligned. There's no need to ever change anything on there. Um, it's going to come right down the nozzle every time. Um, that's huge for us, you know. So if your tube, if your laser tube's ever down, and you have a neighbor that's next door and has the same laser as you, you can walk over and, uh, as if you're borrowing some sugar, you can borrow the laser tube. It would, it would drop right in, and it would, it would go right down the optics. So I'm going to take back over one more time. Uh, we here at Eon Laser USA uh, always want to make sure that time is money. We want you to get this job done as fast as possible and put as much money in your pocket. We care as much about your businesses as you do and we want to make sure that you succeed. So our goal in this Red Line series was really to give you all of the powers to do that. As fast as you can get a job done, as efficient as you can get a job done, as efficient as your machine can be, this is the Red Line series. We really tried to go above and beyond for all of you and we hope that you agree that we succeeded in this task.
now we're unmuted. Okay, now we now we can talk. I don't know if you all were paying attention at the very end of that presentation, but um, that's something that's really incredible. Now, if you have a, a small business and you pick up one of these signature series lasers, you can switch laser sources on it. Yeah, on the fly. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if that's, it's toolless. Yeah, if you replace have to replace a CO2 tube because something happened to it, you can just drop your new one in and it's automatically lined up or you can even switch to a fiber source, drop exactly. it in, automatically lined up and ready to go. Yeah, that that's that's like a that's like a game changer. And uh, you know, the these the signature series is called signature for a reason and that's because the they're going to be assembled here in florida mm -hmm. and the technician that assembles and tests it is actually going to sign it they're going to have a little plate on the gantry that's going to have that technician's name uh, so you know that you know it was a quality assemble assembly and the quality control is going to be top notch on it and they're using some U usa manufactured parts like the gantry rails those are milled out of a solid bar of aluminum and we actually got a tour of the factory today yeah that uh you'll be seeing a video on in about the next 10 days or so and we went through all it's an incredible setup that they've got here in florida uh they they do, they can do everything from uh cnc work milling mm -hmm. to uh power coating and everything in between yeah, with an amazing uh, part setup, machinery everywhere. I think it was what twenty two thousand square feet, something like that. Yeah, huge, huge, huge place. You'll want to watch uh, that video for sure, just to see the big, huge laser cutters they have that are automated to be able to pull sheet stock out of a tall rack. Nobody even has you, to touch it. No, nope, they <laughs> use uh, vacuum, you know, suction cups and pull it off the rack and plop it down on the bed, the laser cuts it, and then it's ready to go. It's exactly. Really cool stuff. Yeah, it was amazing setup. We got an amazing tour today. We got some good video footage of it. It's going to be in high quality for, for the video that actually comes out, and I think you all are going to enjoy it. So uh, we're going to move on now to um, GCC. Eagle. Uh, I'm sorry, Eagle. Yeah. Yes. This okay. is Eagle Laser. All right. This was our first experience uh, seeing the Eagle laser. So this might be a new one to you guys, too. So be worth checking yeah, out. Yeah, I haven't seen this one before. Yep. So let's go on with that. Okay, next stop is Eagle. Don't mind the gum. Laser I didn't take the gum out of my mouth. Lord. And I am here with Andrew. Andrew is uh, one of the reps for the company. Hi, Andrew. Hi there. Thanks for giving us your time today. Can we start off and take a look at your CO2 and find out some of your bullet points on that. Sure. So this is our smallest kind of desktop size machine called X7050. It uses a 40 watt RF metal tube CO2 laser. It's uh, got a 20 inch by 24 inch working area with about five inches of Z axis up and down movement. Uh, I'm sure most of your viewers will know, but this one is used for basically anything that's non-metal. So your acrylics, your woods, your leather, your textile, Even paper. Even paper. One of my favorite things to <laughs> laser engrave. And uh, is this a, a economy side laser or? Yeah, I'd say this is a really good laser for anyone kind of just starting out in the world of laser, starting a small business in your garage or spare bedroom, uh, or even doing like professional quality engraving. Awesome. So uh, now for somebody who needs a little more than that, commercial business, uh, what else do we have? We go up from here in terms of size and power. I'll take you over here to our X1309. This is about 30 inches by 50 inches, a little bit more than that, with about eight inches of Z-axis movement. This one also has a pass-through. So if you're working with full-size sheets of material, this machine can very easily do it. It's available in 150 and 300 watt versions. And I should mention, all of our machines ship from California, as well as spare parts and tech support. And where are they manufactured? We have our own dedicated factory that's in China that keeps our manufacturing costs down, but everything else, aside from manufacturing, comes out of California. Okay. What, what type of uh, speed are we looking at here? It's this big bed. 
It's an awfully big bed. This one, we can get around 1,000 millimeters per second. We can go quite fast. This one will go almost twice as fast, the X7050. Whereas that one is kind of specializing in engraving, like photo quality images with a very fine laser beam. This one will also use a glass uh, CO2 laser tube. Awesome. Okay, so what do we have now? Now we're on the fiber side of our booth. So this is just a small sampling of the fiber machines that we make. This is called the FC. This one over here is called the F2. They use the same laser, the same lens. They're both equipped right now with a 30-watt JPT MOPA fiber laser. So for all metals, very dense plastics, uh, even slate and stone and tile we can do on these as well. I see this one has an enclosure. It does. So this one has an enclosure and a motorized Z-axis up and down for your focus. The other one, the F2, which uses, again, uses the same laser, same lens, uh, this one just has a manual Z movement, so manual focus. Perfect. This is our one and a half kilowatt, so 1,500 watt laser welder. Wow. Yeah. This is a very, very fun machine, kind of switching gears a little bit from 30 up to 1,500. We also make a similar machine up to 3,000 watts wow. for welding, welding, cutting, and cleaning. What do you have? What, what machine do you have? I have a 2,000 watt four in one cleaner, welder, cutter, cleaner. Okay. Welding uh, sink. So this will be very similar. Uh, similar functionality to your machine, I'm sure. Is yours air cooled or water cooled? Water cooled. Okay, same as this one. You have the chiller built into the chassis, the fiber built into the chassis, and an external wire feeder right here. Any metal out there. And what price range are we looking at here? Retail. Retail is about 23000 23000 Okay, well, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Okay, so... Um, that is the uh, second company that we interviewed. And I really had never, have you heard of them? Before? No, I had not heard of them. Uh, but they had a nice presentation and it seemed to be fairly well-made stuff. Yeah, so there's not much that we can say about the quality, but this will give you an overview from these sales reps that will um, let you decide whether or not you want to look further into them. And uh, once we actually do the final cut videos, we're going to put links below it to their pages, not affiliate links, just regular links where you can do more research. So basically the, the purpose of doing these interviews is in case you want to, let's say, um, you know, scale your business up and uh, pick up a laser for your garage instead of for a workroom. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, something that's more commercial quality. And again, we are talking about like the 5,500 and up range, up to yep. like 500,000. Some of these are massive, massively huge. Yep. And if you like to shop around like I do and compare yep. prices, then there's going to be a, a few more resources for you to check out and see yep. if uh, they have products that you might even be interested in pursuing. Right. And uh, we're going to uh, move on to the next video now, who is GCC, ladies. GCC and GCC. Most people don't know they are an OEM manufacturer, so uh, they produce a lot of the high end lasers for other brand name companies that are out there. Yep. Um, so this one is a longer interview, yep. um, but there's a lot of information in here. And uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this video from the manufacturer. And while watching this one, keep in mind that they are based in Taiwan. Taiwan, yeah. This is not a Chinese laser. Okay, so I know a lot of you have been waiting to hear about full spectrum laser. We talked about it before. And we are here today with Walker, who is the sales rep here at the show. And he's going to give us some information on full spectrum lasers. Hello, Walker. Okay, so we got that one wrong. Uh, this one is full spectrum laser, which I know a lot of you have heard uh, from. So yep. we'll continue on with this video now. Again, we apologize for the audio quality. These are not final cuts. These are just on the fly videos. The, the sales people are mic'd up though, so you'll be able to hear them. Perfectly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hey everyone. Uh, so what makes us different as in the laser industry, I would say, is that we're always pushing pushing the bounds when it comes to 
software, hardware, we create everything in-house. We make our body panels with lasers. We're laser nerds that make lasers. Um, so we sell all sorts of lasers. We sell metal cutting lasers, CO2 lasers we started with, started back over 10 years ago. Um, we started making lasers in the garage. We took Chinese lasers, made them better with our software. So we are the software guys. Now, then we got into building hardware and we got further and further um, <clears throat> into making lasers. Now, when it comes to what we're pushing now, what we're really into is our UV lasers. Our UV lasers do all sorts of things um, that a normal UV laser doesn't do. Most people know UV lasers when it comes to probably like the small diode lasers on gantry systems. But uh, we also do the Galvo, the Galvo UV lasers. And what's different is our software can actually do 3D uh, 3D objects inside of glass. The subsurface glass is what makes us that different. That is incredible. Um, and essentially it's like 3D printing. You start from the bottom and you go up, uh, creating micro bubbles inside of the glass. Um, and that's because we used to make, uh, uh, what is it, ST, SLA, 3D printers. And we took that code, implemented it into our software, and uh, now the UV lasers can do it. Next step, not, even, not only taking a STL file and turning it into um, a lasered object, at subsurface and glass, we can take just a simple photo of you and the software will turn it into a 3D design. Um, so it's sort of next level stuff when it comes to people in the trophy industries like it um, and all sorts of different applications. The spot size on, this, uh, on the UV laser is three times smaller than your CO2. So um, quality is going to be significantly more uh, higher resolution. Man, it's a long day at this trade show. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. Yeah. So I see you, you have an uh, integrated uh, enclosure with the system. Yeah, we, have, we started off with uh, open systems like everybody else, and then we provided uh, an additional enclosures. But then we were like, let's just throw it all in one unit. Let's not worry about goggles. Let's have some safety features built into the lid. And uh, yeah, all that uh, acrylic keeps everything nice and uh, so you don't have to wear goggles and everything's safe. Um, and it keeps also got autofocus and uh, motorized seat. Yeah, autofocus is a big thing. And then even without autofocus, the manual, the way we've done it with two lasers coming together to manual focus makes it really, really simple. Um, the touch screen's a nice addition because it's just so user-friendly and it's nice to get tangible with the actual laser and function and using it. And then that goes hand in hand with the software. Now the software, we've been writing for over 10 years and uh, it just keeps getting better and better and better. And the difference I would say from us to others is we make the software, we make the hardware. We're specifically designing its parameters and pushing the bounds all the time. Uh, so Walker, has if they want to find out more about Full Spectrum, uh, where should they go on the web? So, go to fslaser.com. That's the best place for purchasing, seeing all our information, and then YouTube. Uh, check out our YouTube. We've got over 400 uh, videos showing all, um, you know, applications, free projects. If you're a CO2 guy, anything like that, um, YouTube's the place to go. Okay. Well. Thank you so much, Walker, for joining us today here at the show. And uh, everybody go over to fslaser.com and take a look at their website, go to their YouTube channel, and uh, we're going to move on to the next company now. All right, so uh, that was Full Spectrum Laser. Yep. Um, good sales pitch. We enjoyed that, I think. Yeah. I especially yeah. like that... that uh, the, the STL. Yeah, there's the engraving inside the glass. Yeah. It looked really, really good. It was really crisp. They have their settings dialed in for sure with their 
UV laser. And the software it. rendered it. Yeah. So it's, it's not like you have to do anything to it. The software did the rendering. Keep in mind, uh, folks, that these are commercial grade lasers. And for the most part, with the exception of maybe two or three companies, um, none of these are going to use Lightroom. They're all going to use proprietary software. Right. Uh, but most of the software is pretty, pretty good. It's pretty incredible stuff. And it's designed for commercial use. So um, I think yeah, with the exception of like Eon and Thunder, that's probably about it, huh? Yeah. And full spectrum, um, the way he, he presented it to us is they spent a lot of time making their software and if they're producing results like you saw in that piece of glass, then obviously they're doing something right with their software. Yeah. Yeah. So who's next? We got, um, well, this next presenter was probably the best of all that we saw, uh, of the whole show. Now you're going <laughs> to like, you're really going to like this one. This is Yong Lee. <laughs> is the comp the parent company but their lasers are called blue times so it's blue times laser so just sit back relax and okay. you'll you'll, you'll get the private joke in a minute <laughs> okay we uh found Hearn on the lasers here at the show and if you've never heard of this company i hope this volume is loud enough for the old that really makes the big boys which one is it real big production commercial machines have found Josh, one of the salesmen here, who's agreed to give us a couple of minutes of his time. So, hi, Josh, how are you doing today? Oh, sorry. I'm doing great. Sorry, this um, so is current I'll laser. I'll show you a little bit about this system. This is, a, this is our OptiFlex model, which can be made smaller than this, larger than this, depending on your applications. What size is this one? So this one is 52 inches by 100 inches. So it's going to be able to fit full four by eight sheets up here with a little extra room. Um, so what we focus on with our lasers, we have we make our own lasers right in house. So we make lasers from 100 watt up to 500 watts. So with with this system here, this one's a 500 watt laser. So you're able to cut metals, woods, acrylics, all with the same system. So. With, with our 500 watt laser, we're able to cut, you know, 3 16 mild steel along with 75 thou stainless steel, 40 thou um, aluminum, and we're able to switch over in about five minutes and cut our one inch acrylic with a fire polished edge. Wow. That's amazing. Then our laser is also capable of doing very, very detailed engravings. That looks like a cast. That doesn't even look like an engraving. So all of these wow. engravings can be done on a 100 watt laser or a 500 watt laser. So the difference is going to be something like this on a 500 watt laser would take five minutes to do. If you're doing it on a 100 watt laser, it's gonna take about 15 minutes to do because of the speed you're going. This system is capable of cutting up to 20 inches per second and engraving speeds up to 150 inches per second. So it's a very, very fast system. But the one thing that's gonna set us apart is, is our laser warranty and um, us manufacturing the lasers in-house. So if a customer has a problem, we're able to ship them a laser within the next day or two, so they can be back up and running right away. The Where other- are you located? We're located in Northern Minnesota. Uh, we've been in business over 40 years now. So um, we've had a, a lot of customers over the years that once they, once they outgrow the one system, they buy another system. So we have customers with 15 systems side by side. So they're running high production. Well, thank you so much for your time, Dave. We, we know you're really busy with the show, and we appreciate your time, sir. Absolutely. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Have a great show. You too. So that was Kern Laser. Made <laughs> in the USA, they make their own laser sources, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that that was actually, yeah, I think we that was a $250,000 machine Yeah. that we that were was, just looking at, the 500 watt. Big, huge 500 watt CO2. But you were able to change out the sources on it in under five minutes, he said.
yeah. Now imagine uh, the honeycomb on your lower end lasers and how they're all wavy. Even that full size, bigger than a sheet laser bed was perfectly flat and level. Right. It was amazing. Right. And it has a sensor built in where if it's cutting aluminum or something in that starts to warp, that it will automatically adjust the height. To the warp. To the warp. Yeah. So that you get a nice clean cut the whole way through. Yeah. If you're going to spend 250 grand. Yep. That's probably the one to get. <laughs> That's probably the one to get. Yep. And I also like the fact that, uh, you know, they have constant support. Yeah. So, uh, you know, if you call them for support, you know, they're right there with you, which most of these most of these commercial companies are going to give you top notch support where you don't have to wait for 24 or 48 hours to get an answer from China. Yeah. So this next video, uh, I'm not even going to say what it is because. It looks like somehow we got them out of order. Well, hopefully this is the one I was trying to hype up uh, just a few <laughs> minutes ago. We're, we're going to find out. So, a lot of you folks have been looking at the law and trying to figure out, hey, is this right for me? These are super high quality making their products. And Jason has taken a few moments at this time here in the show to tell you about that. So I'd like to say uh, welcome, Jason. Thank you so much for giving us some time. This is Rotoboss. All right, guys. Thanks. Hey, everybody. It's Jason with Rotoboss Rotary Attachments. We're here at the ISA show in Orlando 2024. Um, here with Thunder, kind of representing Thunder and supporting my brand also, which is Rotoboss. We have several rotaries here today. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look and see kind of what we have available. Uh, this is not, not everything we have, but this is some of the stuff that we have at the trade show, so we can go ahead and show you some of the items that we have uh, here on display. So, first thing we have here, this is our, our newest combo, which is the uh, Daredevil combo. It is a combination between the Rotoboss Ascend and the Rotoboss, our new Rotoboss Talon Chuck. Um, the good thing about this is, is it's, a, it's, it's an all-in-one machine, so you've got everything to cover all your bases as far as if you're doing roller stuff or if you want to do chuck stuff. You have everything you need right there in one, one unit. So you have everything you need in one machine ready to go. So no matter what you need to do, you're going to have the, the right tool for the job. Um, we do have, this is our, our, our base platform we're going to build off of for the next foreseeable future. And uh, we have a new uh, feature coming out too that I released a couple months ago, and I've teased it again uh, about a week ago, where we have the dual ascent. So uh, the chuck that we have here is a four jaw chuck. It's unique to that because everything else is pretty much a three jaw chuck. And uh, with with this development, I wanted to go with four jaw because doing woodwork and things like that, I know they work really well. Um, it's self centering, just like a regular three jaw. And uh, a lot of adjustments are really easy, quick and easy on it. Um, the adjustability here to tilt it, everything toolless, basically a toolless machine altogether. Other than if you swap it out, you got to take the bolts out of the bottom. But this just lifts right off. You can put it, you can put it onto a Galvo and use it, and then you can put it back on here if you need it. So it's just a quick, easy swap. What piece are these machines? Sorry. What piece? Uh, like two phase, three phase. Well, the the one this one here has a thunder motor on it, so it's a two phase with the integrated stepper, okay. um, which basically just means that the driver is built into the motor. Right. Then we have uh, over here, we have this is a three phase setup, so this would be more geared towards your like the Boss 16 series and up, which use three phase motors, and also Lagunas. Then we also have a two-phase setup, which is good for all your standard gantry, or not gantry, your, all your standard Galvo lasers, UV, CO2, fiber, uh, plugs right in with the four-pin connector, as well as some of your two-phase, or most of your two-phase, like China machines, like the, the Boss 14, the Eons, uh, things of that nature that, that run a, a two-phase motor. So we have a solution for every, every laser that's out there that runs on either Lightburn Already works or EasyCAD. Um, currently, we don't have anything for anything like Trotec, Epilog, uh, any of those guys because they're all they're all proprietary. They have they're very tight-lipped about things. So trying to find out what they have available or or what we can do to incorporate it, it yeah, it, it's 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 tough. <laughs> so 
If you have something that runs on, like I said, Lightburn, RDWorks, or EasyCAD, we got a solution for you, whether it's a NEMA 17 or a NEMA 23 motor, because all of our setups are tooled to where you can just swap out a 23 with a 17. It's already got the bolt pattern there. Just a quick swap over. So, so uh, yeah, tell people what the name of your, the address to your website is. Uh, we'll put a link down below, but tell them the So yeah, so the ways you can reach out to us, we got uh, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. It's all Rotoboss Rotary Attachments in some form or fashion on all those platforms. We also have rotaryattachments.com, which is where you can find out uh, all about the different machines that we have. Um, there's some technical specs in there, but my contact information's in there. There's also a link to, to get a hold of us via email. And uh, all the all the emails and phone calls, it's all answered by me. So if you're trying to reach out, you're going to reach me. You're not going to reach somebody paid to answer the phones or emails. So you're all gonna right. get you're gonna get my direct response. And uh, so yeah. So thanks for checking us out. I hope I hope you guys have a good time here. Um, we've got one more day of this, and then we'll be done. Well, thank so. you so, so much for your time. We we really appreciate you taking time away from your customers. Today. Okay. Jason, I really enjoyed getting to interview Jason to help out a small business owner, a fellow small business owner uh, based in the United States. And that was cool that he got some camera time to show off his products. Yeah, I've actually enjoyed watching Rotoboss grow, too, from when they first launched it. Right. You know, I mean, they, they've taken all of the he's taken all of the customer feedback that he's gotten and he's changed the machines as time's gone on. Yeah, being able to pop that chuck out. That's it, incredible. It, it, yeah. Coolest change or put it over your Galvo, that is super convenient. And I think that's like a five in one uh, rotary accessory. I yeah, mean, pretty much one rotary to handle everything. Yeah, you don't need more than one rotary. So uh, that was pretty cool. So yeah. let's go on to the next video. And again, we're gonna have to figure out who this is because something had happened to the upload here. Okay, we have finally found uh, Trotec, which is a name that I'm sure that okay. you're all familiar with. And uh, we are here at the booth. Again, apologize for the uh, audio on this. This is the, our the, video. Uh, manager the actual at the salesman. Show. Well, and on. he's going to tell us all about Trotec while I go around the kiosk and take a video. So I would like to say uh, thank you, Daryl, for being with us and giving us the time during this busy show. Uh, Tell us a little bit about Trotec. No problem. Well, uh, thank you guys for uh, uh, coming over and seeing us. Uh, Trotec Laser's been in business for about 25 years. And a big reason for Trotec is we used to be a customer. Uh, we use some of the major manufacturers of laser systems. And worldwide, uh, Trodat, which is a parent company of uh, Trotex, uh, makes rubber stamps. And we're the world's largest rubber stamp manufacturer and rubber stamps are really dirty. Uh, if you want to throw a rubber tire and light it on fire inside of a laser machine, that's the kind of effect that the uh, rubber stamps have, and we needed a very durable machine. So we started manufacturing lasers about 25 years ago. You will not find a uh, more industrial, heavy-duty heavy system in the market. Uh, we are more of a commercial, industrial system. Uh, most of our systems weigh anywhere from 300 to 1,000 pounds. So they're built really robust, uh, heavy steel metal frames, and then we also do very high production uh, speed ratios. So uh, on the system we have here, our Speedy 400, uh, this system uh, goes 170 inches per second, uh, the fastest in the industry, and very high quality. So it's one thing to say that you can produce uh, fast, it's another one to say that you can do it with high quality. Um, our systems are kind of unique in the fact that they run off Ruby uh, software, and that's kind of a game changer for us. It's a combination of print driver and graphic uh, software. So you can do a whole lot of things in our Ruby software that has never been possible before. Uh, but uh, excited to uh, be here at the ISA show. Uh, we've had a pretty busy booth and uh, love to see you guys uh, look into Trotec when you have a chance. Okay.
Okay. Yep, we're so muted. I did that again. <laughs> <laughs> no volume. Thank you, Deepa. Uh, so I just wanted to comment real quickly on um, Rob's comment. I think it was where he said X tool has that talking about the autofocus there. There the X tool is a hobby laser. So like all of almost all of the diode lasers are, and we're talking about commercial lasers here, completely different. So the X tool laser does have multiple focus op uh, um, options where you can focus on different parts of it, but it's a limit switch focus. And what we were talking about or what they were talking about, on that laser that was playing at the time was LIDAR focus. So on the fly. Yeah. So if you have a piece of steel in there and you're cutting it and it starts to warp, it's going to automatically refocus as it goes. If you have a warped piece of wood, the focus is going to refocus as it moves across the wood. So, yeah, um, so if the aluminum warps this way, as the laser head's traveling, it's moving the bed up to compensate for it. So exactly. it maintains a consistent distance exactly. from the laser head. All right. So let's see who we have uh, next. <laughs> Okay, we have found Thunder Laser. Thunder. Okay. Thunder. It comes with Thunder. But we have also found the owner of Thunder Laser here, who has decided to give us a couple of minutes to tell us all about Thunder, where they're from, and what they're making, and if they miss play. And we're going to switch over to Clay now. He's going to tell you about it while I take a walk around and look at the lasers. Thank you so much for your time here, and uh, tell us a little bit about Yeah, thank you for having us. Um, so right here we've got the Thunderbolt. Uh, this is our newest machine. This is a, a small desktop machine. It does have an RF laser tube, which there's glass laser tubes, and then there's also RF for metal tubes. Uh, with the RF, you're going to get finer detail engravings uh, as opposed to the glass tubes. This machine is also very fast. It has 3G acceleration. It's nice and compact. My favorite machine. It's when you launched this machine, I was like, uh, "Where's my?" Okay, I'm I'm saying here that when they launched this machine, that uh, it was something I almost took my checkbook out for. And this is one of the machines we were talking about earlier. Earlier, that's light burn compatible. This could be a hobby laser. Um, the starting point on uh, the bolt is, I think it was $5,500. $5,500. And this is an RF laser. So uh, it's, you know, it's completely different. You get fantastic, it has great engravings, it has great cutting ability. And uh, this is probably this and the Eon, uh, the Mirror 5, are my two choices that are affordable uh, hobby lasers. Yep. So let's uh, give him back the stage here. Yeah, for 5,500 bucks, um, this machine packs a lot of value. Uh, we see a lot of people coming over from the hobbyist grade machines. Maybe their side hustle is turning into more of a full-time gig. And this machine just really fits that bill for somebody that's a, a side hustle turning into a more full-time thing. Um, inside of it, uh, it's all very well made. These are all industrial grade parts as opposed to, you know, maybe some of the plastic that you might see in some of the other machines. We have a touchscreen LCD panel. It also holds uh, one gigabyte of storage, so you can actually store up to a gigabyte worth of files in here so that you don't even have to um, transfer from your computer. You can just run it straight from the laser. It has a front pass-through door, so if your material is bigger than um, than the 20 by 12 inch bed, you're able to have that material stick out and still run the laser. Um, what else can I tell you? It's got an integrated camera up here so that you can see the laser bed inside your software that can help you with placing images and engravings on different things. Uh, we also have a variety of lenses available. Uh, right now, this machine is the one and a half inch lens is on it, but we also have a two inch, a two and a half inch, and a four inch lens. The four inch lens helps you have a longer focal length so you can uh, cut through thicker things or you can increase the spot size if you're playing around with stuff like that. It's just always good to um, have some versatility in your in your different lenses. The air assist control valve is right here on the, on the rail. There's also a heat alarm inside of it, which is a nice safety feature so that if you do have a fire, it will loudly alarm you. 
And then maybe most importantly, compared to a lot of the hobbyist machines on the market, um, it has a motorized table. You get a little over four inches of drop here, but it's enough that you can fit a rotary inside of here and you can do uh, full-size tumblers inside of the machine. You can do, uh, was it 30 ounce Yetis or 40 ounce Yetis? The, the, the Rotoboss actually the, the makes full... a custom yes, uh, yeah. roller for this machine, right? Correct. So we have a, a variety of different, there's two, two rotaries for this machine. The Roto Bolt and the Rotoboss Junior can both fit inside this machine. Uh, we have lots of setup and training videos posted online. We have a knowledge base. Um, we have uh, we have the, the knowledge base online, set up videos to get you going, how to unbox it, how to set it up, how to install Lightburn, uh, which Lightburn is the most user-friendly laser software, I would say, on the market, and probably the best laser software. Um, and it, it is fully, fully integrated with Lightburn. Um, some machines kind of use Lightburn, but not, not all the way, but this, this controller is made for Lightburn. So you're gonna get all the features of Lightburn. You're not gonna have to you know, pick and choose what, what you can use Lightburn for. Um, and then we have some of the fastest support response times in the industry. Usually customers are seeing three to five minute response time. So if you do need tech support, we're always right there to help you. We ship parts out the same day. We can always overnight you stuff as well. So keeping in mind that this is an industrial machine, we want you to keep running you know, we want you to have as little downtime as possible, and so we, as a company overall, work really hard to, to make sure that happens. So I, I just wanted to mention really quickly that the new Thunderbolt, uh, the keyword here is it's an industrial machine, but it fits into the hobby market because this machine is so inexpensive, and it's probably the least expensive desktop commercial machine that you can buy and absolutely my favorite ever since I saw it at the Lightburn convention. So uh, that is probably something that a lot of you are, are looking for is a, an industrial machine, commercial machine that you can put in your shop that you can depend on and has a price point that you can afford as well. Yeah, to that point, I mean, where Thunder Laser is at an interesting point or an interesting place in the marketplace because we have the hobbyists that think, oh, Thunder Laser is really expensive. But everybody that I'm talking to at the trade show that does this professionally is saying, why are you guys so cheap? Why can I get so much machine, so much machine for so little? So on that, that industrial side, we're kind of, you know, in between that consumerist market and that true professional industrial person that needs to make production runs. They need the machine to just run, 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 workhorse, you know, time and time and time again and not get too hot or, you know, not have things break down. And so that's where this machine is, is really cool because um, it, it is an industrial machine. It is metal. It is a very robust, strong parts. You don't have a lot of wiggling around. This is an RF laser that has its own fans for an exhaust Which if y'all want to see the, the laser source, So your usual glass tubes would have water running through here, whereas you can see this is these are fans running, and that's what actually cools the laser source. So what you see right here, like this is really as much space as it's gonna take up. You don't have to have room for the chiller, you don't have to have room for uh, external air, external exhaust, and even the exhaust fan is integrated into the machine, again, to save space, you know, this is, this is a, ideal for someone that is limited on space and um, and budget because this is our lowest price point machine but it is a lot of machine for uh, fifty five hundred dollars sure is well thank you so much clay for your time today i know you're very busy with the show you have customers out there we really appreciate you taking a few minutes and granting us this interview thank you sir. absolutely thank y'all okay so um that <laughs> i i was just telling patrick uh, off screen that um, I'm kind of torn if I were to say hey you know I want an affordable CO2 that I can fit 
you know, in, in a spare bedroom or something like that. Mm -hmm. I'm sort of torn between the Thunderbolt and the Mira 5. Right. You know, which are both about in the same price range. Uh, the only, the only, I think the only reason why I'm torn is I might be, I might be leaning toward the, the mirror five signature with the, you know, exchangeable sources. Right. That's the only thing that I'm sort of torn, but I really love the Thunderbolt. I think if you're going to step up, I, I really think that's the way to go. My opinion is I already have fiber lasers. So having the interval interchangeable source really isn't as big of a deal to me. But if somebody didn't have a fiber laser right. and wanted that capability, then that would definitely be a solid option. Um, I also but, like the fact that there's no water involved. There's no chiller. Right. There's no water. Period. I mean, these are these are just fans. Now, on the mirror, uh, the mirror five on on the new signature series, that is going to be uh, the the RF is going to be water cooled instead of air cool so this is an air cooled rf mm -hmm. and the mirror five uh that's one of their great new advances is that it's going to be liquid cooled yep they're but using, it's all going to be on board yep they're, they're using liquid cooling to prolong the life of the rf co2 too. right yeah exactly so uh okay let's move on to the next one is this the one we've been waiting is this for? the one we've been waiting for that's the question <laughs> i guess we'll find out here we go. Okay, so we've already seen this. One. So we're gonna stop this one, and uh, let me bring in a different one. And what one did we miss? The full yeah. spectrum, right? No, we got it, Youngly. Youngly. Okay, so let's see. There it is. All right. Best one is coming up next. <laughs> okay, I am here today at the Blue Times Laser, which I believe is affiliated with uh, Youngly, who are the, that is the laser tube manufacturer. This one does have a little bit of a volume issue. And I am here now with Patrick uh, from Light Source Engraving, and he's going to give us a description. Of now you can see why he said it's the best one. That's right. <laughs> All right, so first up, they do have a CO2 Galvo on display. It's a 30 watt CO2 Galvo with uh, looks like a manual focus. And I didn't, didn't see a motor on that one. Then over here, we have a three watt UV laser, which is also a split system. So the source is setting down below and a manual focus. And then moving on to this interesting subject here, we have a 20 watt all-in-one fiber laser so this is 20 watt the source is housed inside this part which also houses the galvo so you have a 20 watt fiber laser in this compact package there's no additional source or any other wires hanging off of it then over here we have a 30 watt split system fiber laser with a manual focus as well manual z and then if we move over to here you'll see they have an air cooled laser welder so that is a air cooled unit so you don't have to tote around a big heavy box that has a water cooling system and all the weight from the compressor and water and everything else what is that diode lasers and we also have some diode modules this is a five watt and then this one is is this a 30 watt or 40 watt 40. This is the 40 watt diode module and it does have the integrated air assist there and get a close up of that. Connections, fans, pretty heavy little module. Then they have some CO2 tubes on display of various wattages. And these are the tubes that I recommend. These are. And this looks very familiar to me. I have one of these in my CO2 Galvo. This is their RF CO2 tube. And that's what runs my CO2 Galvo is a Yongli 30 watt. And it does a great job. I've been very happy with it. And you're looking to upgrade to the 60 watt. Yes, I would love to upgrade to a 60 watt. And they also have a diode laser on display as well. And this is uh, something new for them, I think. Yeah. Are the, the diode then, uh, so Blue Times is affiliated with Yongli. It's 
that was an interesting fact to find out, and uh, we do like Yongli products. And okay, so an explanation uh, why I like the Young Lee products, and I know they had a bad rep, you know, for a couple of years when they were making inferior uh, glass tubes, but for about the last four years or so, I mean, there's there's pretty much there's Reese and then Young Lee, you know, those are the top two manufacturers, and uh, of course the Reese is a much better tube, but the the difference is the young Lee is like half the price mm -hmm. so uh, and you're still getting top quality you're still getting the number two manufacturer on on the market here so i just wanted to um explain that really quickly the reason why i like the young Lee rf co2 uh tubes in comparison to say you know adobe is you have an expanded frequency range and a little bit better beam quality out of their CO, rf co2 Oops. Right. So uh, let, let's uh, bring in that final video, which is uh, GCC. GCC. All yeah. Right. And GCC is actually uh, an OEM white label branding company. They make lasers for a lot of these companies that uh, we've actually seen here tonight. And hopefully this is the right video file. Everybody, I am here with Mackenzie of GCC Laser, which is hey, one it. of the oldest uh, laser companies in the world. And Mackenzie has been gracious enough to offer us some time today and tell us a little bit about the company. Thank you, Mackenzie, for having us today. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about GCC Laser and uh, the history and machines that you make and so on? Sure, not a problem. Thank you, Rich. First place, welcome Rich Patrick and all Thank your you. YouTube subscribers. Uh, you seem to have a large loyal client base out there, and we appreciate you folks, of course, out there teaching them about the equipment and what seems to be your light, the particular light burn software. Uh, we'll be following you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, we'll be learning a few things from you all. Uh, to be candid with you, I'm not an expert at light burn, as I've been running other particular software right. and Grave Lab Laser has been my expertise for over 25 years uh, but I've been told by some headquarter people that I got to learn light burn of course so good uh, I'm glad to hear that yeah <laughs> so allow me to introduce myself my name's McKenzie I'm with actually Joralink USA uh, we are a proud distributor of GCC for over 20 years I have some of my colleagues here uh, over at the booth Daniel who will be explaining about the new machines one of them is our fastest laser, and probably the fastest gantry laser in the market right now, about 175 inches per second. That's the fast, fastest one I've seen. It is, yes. So, she's... Okay. I just want to jump in here for a second and uh, see if you guys heard what he just said. And that is 175 inches, inches per, per second. second. So we talk, you know, millimeters per minute. We calculate that real quick. What is that? Inches per second is uh, 24 times what uh, millimeters per second is or something like that. It's 25.4 uh, times 175. That's 4,445.4 millimeters per second. Think about second. that for a minute. Think about that number for one minute. 4,445 millimeters per second. Uh, yeah, millimeters per second. I mean, uh, it's an incredible speed. And as we're watching it uh, run a job, it was moving so fast back and forth. And it was just incredible. So I'll let them keep talking about it. This is a longer interview here. And the reason why we gave uh, GCC more time is because they are a, a very large manufacturer. Uh, especially they overwhelm the Japanese market yep. and you know you'll hear about that so we'll let them continue on now. GCC has an extensive network of distributors throughout the world with a number of well-known companies for which they OEM equipment to. Our best prospects are GCC owners that have our equipment for 10, 15, 20 plus years um, and know the reliability and how important a well-made machine is to their production. 
to be candid, JCC's brand is not yet so well recognized in the USA as it could be. And that is because GCC does not spend as much on advertising as they do in R&D. We rely on our clients' word of mouth and dealers to promote the product. Their philosophy has always been to concentrate on building well-made machines with features that matter to production. We are here introducing two new machines, uh, to, two new machines sold to, over to our product line. The Pilots 400, which you will see here in a few minutes, uh, which is being introduced in May to our clients out in Asia and coming to America at the end of the year. These machines have been in beta tests now for about six months. I know our Japanese partner have sold over 5,000 units wow. throughout time, of course, and have closely worked with GCC along with some of our other clients to provide input and features on this new model machines that we have. Awesome. I know Japan is very demanding on high quality products for production and their valued input has built into these machines. I know your viewers may want to know what is different, what actually separates us from, right. from our competitors. Right. It's difficult to say. You have some, we have some industry partners that are very good at what they do. Mm -hmm. Here in the U.S., we have competitors such as Epilogue or Trotec, whom we compete very well with our features. Uh -huh. We're high-end production equipment. Right. We do offer entry-level production equipment such as our desktop E200. It's a small, particular desktop or our C180 machine. They're pretty fast and reliable. They all have basically servo motors and they're open architecture electronics, awesome. which means there's many different type of programs, particular softwares that can run them. So, so that would be for the, uh, uh, you know, the small uh, private owner shop or garage right, yeah. business. But all our product line is open architecture. So you got programs out there like Corel, Draw, Adobe Illustrator, AutoCAD. Um, I've had clients that use Microsoft Word or Excel to be able to run the, the equipment. So I believe we also have the only hybrid laser in the market that has two CO2 tubes built into it. Uh -huh. One is a glass tube and the other one's a metal tube. It's great for this industry, for the sign industry. Right. Because in this industry, you have clients that want to do a lot of cutting, acrylic, etc., and they also want to do engraving. And really, RF tubes, the metal tubes, are the best for that industry. Absolutely. Most of all our tubes are actually made here in the USA. So there's pretty wow. well-known companies. There's the company Zendrad, um, and Iridian that are very well known yeah. laser tubes out yeah. there. So, um, with that being said, I'd like to introduce Mr. Daniel, who can give you an explanation on the two on the two new machines that we have. Okay. Okay. So we are now here with uh, Daniel, who is the head of sales here at the show for GCC, and he's going to tell us uh, about their lineup of commercial machines. So for this year, we're introducing our Piolis 400. Basically, this is the pioneer laser when it comes down to our name. Um, it comes in with a speed of 175 inches per second, two control panels, LCD and button. Um, we also have the optical smart vision, which is our CCD cameras here. For positioning, we have several options, standard origin mode, drag and engrave with relative center mode, smart center, um, we also have new airflow designed to keep cool air from mixing with hot air produced by the laser tube. This helps laser tube stability. We have a smart seal technology, which means our mechanics have dust prevention covers while being easy to maintain with easy access panels and a status LED bar on the top, which lets you know the operating condition from afar. The table on the machine is a 40 by 24 by 11 with pass-through door capabilities. This will come in three levels, either CL2, fiber, or dual hybrid. And this is our fastest gantry laser, 175 inches per second, and probably one of the fastest in the market with our patent smart act technology. This helps reduce acceleration and deceleration that improves throughput to get jobs done faster. All right. Okay, what do we have here? So here we have our upgraded Spirit LS Pro. This is an upgrade to our older Spirit machine, working speed of up to 120 inches per second. Table a size of 29 by 18 with a 6.5 inches diameter or inches on the Z axis. 
It includes also our smart eye CCD camera and it has a smart guard fire alarm device to protect against fires. Closed loop DC servo control for precise movement of the laser carriage. Quick release measuring rulers as well on the table. Uh, we have support out of California for our dealers and clients. Let me show you our new Piolis 400 unit. By the way, it means Pioneer Laser for those that are wondering. Our machines are open architecture, which means any graphic program can drive them, such as Corel Draw, Adobe Illustrator, AutoCAD, and Mac's personal favorite, Engrave Lab. Can't say much about Lightburn, but I have been told to learn it, so I'll be making sure to watch our YouTube channel or your YouTube channel here, <laughs> so I can be learning a lot from it. All right, so here on um, at GCC, we also offer different models available for your application. So we have something. Uh, such as an economy desktop size machine, the E200. Um, we also offer industrial size machines such as the T500. Um, really depending on your applicational needs, we usually try to find you the best machine suited for your needs. Okay, so um, the their economy version, I think was somewhere in the area of like uh, 7400, is that what it was? The, for the desktop? Cannot remember. I, I don't know. Have to I don't, consult yeah. the brochure. Yeah, I don't actually remember, but I think it was somewhere in the area of 7,500. Yeah. So I guess we could add this, you know, uh, this machine to the list of hobby lasers uh, if you're staying under 10 grand. But um, one thing that is important about GCC is that they're an OEM manufacturer. So um, a lot of their parts and a lot of their machines made at their factory go out to other brand name companies. So uh, that's why we gave them a little bit of extra time. And uh, yeah, you know, it was sort of uh, you reading from a script, but the fact of the matter was they prepared that script, spent a lot of time working on it so that they would cover all of the, the bullet points that they yeah. could. They wanted to make sure that they got everything out there. Uh, the owner of the company from Taiwan was there and he was yes. super excited about it. So that made uh, his folks a little a little nervous about coming on camera they didn't want to trip up and say anything wrong or miss any points so they time to do some homework after they uh left the show that night and checked out our channels yes. and then when we came back they said hey we've watched your channels we're really excited to do this interview so yeah and you know that's probably it's probably a brand that nobody ever talks about but yeah. um 35 year manufacturer and i thought that they were 15. I thought Jiwi was the oldest manufacturer of CO2 lasers, but it's not true. They are. So uh, they've been in business for 35 years and they're number one in Japan. So if that Japan people are very particular about what for one, but now they're uh, into the United States and Europe and so on. So anyway, that is our quick, uh, quick, where are we at now? An hour and a half. Yeah, uh, that's our quick overview of some of the companies that we've seen so far. And in the next seven to ten days, maybe fourteen days, you're going to start seeing the finished videos come out that are going to have much better picture quality, much better sound quality. Uh, they're going to be final cut videos, and I think I'm going to do a playlist. Yeah, I and, think I'm going to follow suit. So we're probably going to follow the same track. Yeah, it'll be a uh, ISA show playlist and it'll just run through all the different manufacturers and vendors. That yeah. We and we've got, we've got more. So uh, this isn't all of the manufacturers that we visited, but we didn't want to uh, keep you here for three hours tonight. Yeah. We have several other cameras of footage to go through, organize, yes. uh, consolidate. Edit, yeah. We have four then, cameras, yeah. four different views. So, you know, I know the, the camera work was a little funny tonight, but um, you know, we, we did our best to bring it to you as quickly as, as we could and give you an overview of the show, the ISA show. Yeah. Um, the next one will be, uh, 2025 is in Vegas. Uh, I don't think I'll be going. We are exhausted. I don't know if you can tell from this video. I think I've lost about 10 pounds. My, my watch did something I've never seen before. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I looked at it, it said, good job. And I said, what is that good job? And then it said 8,700 steps today. <laughs> that yeah. was like, oh my God. It was two days in a row, we both reached our step goal, according to our watches. Yeah. And I mean, we we just, we spent, did so much walking at this show. 
both of us are just physically exhausted. And we've got an exclusive tour of the Eon factory that's going to be coming soon as well. That's going to be its own video to be in my playlist. It's going to be in Patrick's playlist on his channel. And the president of the company, uh, all the employees were out at the show. And he gave us an exclusive tour of the factory, just us and uh, Michael from uh, Laser Engraving 911. Yep. And um, Greg from Mancrafting. Yeah. Pretty, yeah. Or Chad. Sorry. Exactly. So we, we, took a, we took a trip today down to the factory and got some really good footage and another interview of what's in the factory. And you, you're not going to believe, <laughs> you know, this 22,000 feet of raw machinery, you know, that's just incredible. It's totally automated. So that's going to be another video to come and uh, check out. That'll be in our playlist. So thank you for uh, joining us tonight. We hope you enjoyed this preview of all the videos that we're going to have out soon uh, in our playlists. And if you're interested in any of them, well, then you can just go to the playlist, pick the manufacturer that you want. There'll be all the details in the description down below the video that where you can visit their website. And again, none of it's affiliate related. So there'll be no affiliate links or anything like that. It's just going to be pure interviews and more information, more camera shots, more close ups. Yeah. Uh, and much better videos than what we presented here. But we just wanted to give you a preview tonight here live from Orlando. Yep. So. Yep. It's been a it's been a fun time. Uh, it's always fun to hang out with Rich. So, yeah. Yeah. We really get to we really get to sit side by side. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's awesome. Uh, yeah. But we've had fun. We've got a lot more footage that we just need to comb through because we have lots of close-ups and uh, yeah. zooms and photographs yeah photographs of all uh, the lasers so you'll get to see it you'll get a much better idea in the final cut yeah so thank you all for joining us tonight uh, for this hour and a half presentation we really appreciate it thank you and uh, as always thanks for watching see you in the next one there we go